When the Supreme Court takes up a case pitting a cake maker's religious freedom against the rights of a gay couple whose wedding he refused to cater, three Arizona lawmakers will be among scores of others siding with the shop's owner. Cronkite News reporter Fraser Allen Best has the story from our Washington Bureau. Masterpiece cake shop owner Jack Phillips considers his designs to be art and sees efforts to control that art as stifling his expression. He says the Colorado law compelling him to bake the cake is unconstitutional. This goes well beyond, do I get to go back to making wedding cakes? This goes at the core of the very freedoms and fundamental freedoms that we have as Americans that we all enjoy. Others say those freedoms are not without limits. Sarah Warbelow is the legal director of the Human Rights Campaign, a national advocacy group. Religious freedom, while an important value, shouldn't be used as a license to discriminate against other Americans. Kristen Wagner, the lawyer for Masterpiece, says similar cases to this one are popping up elsewhere. There's a case pending in Arizona right now that's involving this issue, and there's a Phoenix ordinance that threatens Arizonans with jail time if they don't create artistic expression that violates their conscience. That lawsuit was filed by the two Christian owners of the art design studio Brush and Nib. They claim a Phoenix ordinance that would compel them to make decorations for a same-sex wedding is also unconstitutional. In the meantime, Phillips awaits a hearing for his own case. Because I want to live by my faith and, and continue to live by my faith in everything that I do. In Washington, Fraser Allen Best, Cronkite News. Arizona Congressman Trent Frakes, Paul Gozar, and Andy Biggs join more than 80 lawmakers siding with Phillips. The Supreme Court has yet to set a date for arguments in the Masterpiece Cake Shop case.